In this video, we're logging on to our Windows Virtual Machine for the first time. Uh, a important note here is the password hint is PA dollar sign dollar sign W zero R D. So let's try that PA dollar sign dollar sign W zero R D and log in. We'll give it a few minutes to start up. Now this is a basic Windows 7 machine 64-bit. We're going to need to download several things. Eclipse are a development environment. Uh, for Java EE, make sure you get the Java EE version. The latest one is fine. Mars is, is the time at the time of this recording. We're also going to need a software development kit, SDK or JDK for Java, and also the WAMP stack. That's Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. These will take a while to download, so I am going to pause between downloads. Uh, let's start with Eclipse 64-bit. Uh, and by the way, I've already, on my machine, I've already downloaded Chrome. Uh, it comes with IE by default, but uh, if you prefer Chrome or any other browser, feel free to download that as well. I'm going to click on the Eclipse 64-bit. Um, yep, looks good to me. And download, and we'll let it go. Now Eclipse is downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. And you see it is uh, it has a folder called Eclipse. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And this is one that you're going to access fairly frequently, so it's worth saving this one out to root just to see Eclipse. So Windows key E takes me to my uh, C drive, and I paste. And I'm likely going to find, when I try to open this up, that it requires Java. So we'll see, like a Java JDK, we'll see what version of Java it's going to ask for. I've unzipped Eclipse. Now, a warning, it told me it was going to take 14 hours. It didn't. It, it did take about 5-10 minutes, but certainly not 14 hours. When I double-click, uh, it says, do I want to run this? I'm going to uncheck Always Ask because we're probably going to run this a lot. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll make a shortcut out of it. So I'll choose Run, and now it says a Java Runtime Environment or Java Development Kit, uh, kit must be available in order to run Eclipse. Uh, okay, no Java Virtual Machine was found after searching this location in your path. Okay, so the next thing we need to do then is download a JDK. So I'm just going to look for... Uh, Java download, and uh, I came to the site on Oracle. Uh, JDK 8 is fine. I will go ahead and select download. Okay, uh, for us, Windows uh, X64 is fine. Let's go ahead and accept the license agreement, and now we're going to download. And of course, we'll give this a few moments, and then we will uh, uh, choose to run this as soon as it downloads. I'll pause while we wait. It is downloaded, so now I'm going to choose Open. And yes. And we'll go ahead and walk through the steps as we normally would. Uh, choose Next. I'm going to change the path. This is something that we're probably going to want to access frequently, so I'm going to make it something a little bit simpler. Uh, I'll just save it into C Programs, so in case we get to a DOS prompt, uh, we don't have to worry about the, the funny spaces or anything like that. And then uh, JDK 1.8, that'll be fine. C programs Java JDK 1.8, I'll choose OK. Uh, I'll choose Next. And we'll let this go, we'll take a few moments. Now we just installed the JDK, which is the Java development environment. This is the JRE, or the Java runtime environment. This is what you need to run Java programs, where the thing we just installed is what you need to write and compile Java programs. In other words, what we're installing now is what's on your mom and dad's computer. What we just finished installing is what's on your computer. You do need both of these for our class. Uh, again, this is a path we're probably going to use a lot. I don't like having spaces and paths that I have to use on the command prompt. So I'm going to modify this just slightly. We'll make it C Programs Java and then JRE 186. So C Programs Java and then we'll just make new folder and we will say JRE, JRE rather, sorry, 1.8.6 or 1.8.0 rather. And then I'm going to choose OK. Let's make sure that's reflected here. Uh -huh, almost. Okay, once again, C. 
and programs and JRE 180 and OK. There we go. And next. And we'll let this install. Now it has been successfully installed, so I'm going to choose close. And let's try to start Eclipse one more time. It's looking a little bit better now. It asked me for a default workspace. Uh, let's go ahead and choose OK. It's going to take a moment to start. To make our lives easier, let's go ahead and right click on the Eclipse icon, choose Create Shortcut, and then drag that to the desktop. We can remove the word shortcut from here. And that way we don't have to navigate to this folder from now on. Just drag up and onto the desktop. OK. And at this point, Eclipse is running and loaded. And so we're ready to move on to the next step, which will be to uh, download and install the WAMP stack and also create our first project. We'll do that in the next video. I look forward to seeing you then.